All right, well, we've been starting to break this tile out right here, and this is actually glued down. It's not in a uh, thin set mortar, so it's taking a little bit of effort to take it up, but I'll show you how well it's going. I just started, and uh, this is just using the Harbor Freight rotary hammer with a pretty wide spade bit. It's going to get loud, it's going to get messy, but here we go. Makes pretty quick work of it. Definitely a messy job. Shards flying everywhere. You know, if you ever do anything like this, make sure you wear all your safety protection, especially your safety glasses. All right, well, I'm removing the glue right now, and I'm using this floor scraper I purchased off eBay. It's working brilliantly for this. Uh, I'm not trying to get it all off. This is going to have carpet in this room. I'm just trying to make it relatively smooth, unlike all of this jazz over here. I just wanted to show this in action and show how quick and effective it is. It's going to be loud, but check this out. That's great. I mean, removing this, cleaning up the whole nine yards, it only took us about 10 minutes to remove the tile, clean it up. It's going to be about the same on this, and this little section will be finished. This uh, is a great tool. All right, well, all the glue has been knocked off, like I said, right around 20 minutes from start to finish. That is going to be plenty flat enough to put down a carpet pad and some carpet atop of that. So that's all I'm going to do right there. No sense in going crazy. We're getting ready to tackle a little bit more demo in here. We're going to go ahead and remove the shower surround and tub unit. Just kind of want to describe how I'm going to get this out. Uh, first and foremost, I need to take off the handle and the trim kit. Pull out the spout, the overflow and trip lever here. Get rid of that. Need to pull this out using a spud wrench for anybody who doesn't know what that is. It's a unique tool to get down in here and take that out. Can't do it with one hand. And if this doesn't fit, you can use the fork. You know, you can use needle nose pliers, whatever. This will be getting changed anyway. But to get it out, I'm going to take the saws off first. Cut all the way around here. Separate the top from the tub. And hopefully we can get it out in one piece like that. If not, I'll do a second cut from here down. I'm not concerned about anything around here, electrical, pipes, anything like that. Just kind of need to be careful on my depth coming across here because there are supply lines coming up to this shower valve. So once I make that, get the top out, we should be able to lift the tub up, maybe get it on end and work it around the corner. And check this out. This is where the spout comes out. It sits in here just like that. It drops out the bottom of that shower valve there to fill the tub. I started taking the spout off and this thing just fell out right in my hand. Uh, it's only, when it was put in, it was only sweated in there maybe a quarter of an inch on this side, even less over here. More like three sixteenths maybe. That should have been up in there probably about a half inch. So it may have moved down, but it doesn't look like it because there's no solder right here in this point. It was just not put in there all the way. Not sure if it was leaking or not. We'll find out. It's going to get a new one anyway. It has to with a new shower valve. 
So no big deal, and it's actually a benefit to me. It'll be easier now to get this out, hopefully in one piece. I don't have to clear anything. All right, I made my perimeter cut, uneventful there. Need to dig, dig the nails out of the flange now. I left them in there so it wouldn't be flopping all over the place as I was trying to cut it. Dig those out, this top piece hopefully will come out. Then we'll extract the bottom one. All right, well that was uneventful. Came out just fine in two pieces. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to chop down the middle in the other bathroom since it's so small. I won't be able to get it out in two pieces. No big deal, just one extra cut. This particular piece of insulation was down like this when it came out. And I know it was sitting there because here's where I came through with my sawzall, about where I cut it. But whoever built the house failed to put in one piece right here. It's just not there. There is a piece up in the attic. I will fill that hole. So now it's just a matter of cleaning up the debris here, deciding what we're going to put in, putting a new drain in new shower valve get everything plumbed up and then start s setting a new tub and dry fitting this that and the other that right there feeds off to go outside to a sill caulk that's that's outside the house but all in all it looks really good behind here uh, there was no water damage so I guess that I may have busted that loose trying to get in here and take off that spout but it should have been up in there all the way I shouldn't have been able to pull that out is what I'm getting at so it may have been a cold joint but it was definitely a short joint but it didn't appear to be leaking all is looking well well all right we're getting ready to start demolition in this back bathroom here in the master bedroom it's gonna be a pleasure to get this nasty mess in here all taken care of you know, just like the other one, I'm going to need to take out the sheetrock around it, get the flange opened up, take off the uh, hardware there for the shower valve. I'm going to have to make three cuts on this one. Well, actually two cuts, but break it into three pieces. Uh, so we'll cut around the perimeter, and then after that's done, I'll do one cut up the back, and it'll break this into thirds so we can get it out. So here we go. Quick and easy. Two cuts, it's out. Show you what I found in here is pretty funny. I guess they had broken the bottom of the tub at some point in time and they just sprayed it full of spray foam to try to fix it. I don't know how well that would have worked out. Got a little carnage here. A few mice evidently got up under here and died at one point in time they also shorted some insulation insulation in this wall they must have been at the bottom of the barrel but everything else looks pretty pretty good pretty standard it's all in good shape no rot no nothing should be a piece of cake